B2M Entertainment gave us the brightest stars in the form of a four-member girl group, otherwise known as Spica. Promoting between the years of 2012 through 2017, Spica gave us powerful, powerful vocals and presence within the K-pop music scene. So what happened to them? Well, let's talk about it. We got our first sneak peek of Spica and their talents on January 10th, 2012 with the single Doggedly. <laughs> The public were especially interested in this project because not only were they a new girl group on the scene, but they also featured the legendary Lee Hyori in their video, who was also their label mate at the time. And she was also considered to be, you know, like their big uni, like basically everyone was calling this group speak at the time Hyori's little sister group. So the single peaked at number 50 on the charts. Um, I was not in love with this song at all. Didn't really do it for me, but it's still worth a listen if you haven't heard it yet. So the ladies officially debuted on February 7th, 2012 with the mini album and single Russian Roulette. <laughs> This was such a great debut in my opinion, you guys. I really, really like this song. The original lyrics of the song, though, were too much for the Korean, Korean audiences at the time, which is understandable. I mean, I mean, look at the, the name of the title, the content of the song, Russian Roulette. It's, it's not a game that I feel anybody should be playing. But, you know, anyways, um, the ladies fixed the, the lyrics so that they could continue promoting it at the time. The album peaked at number 46 on the charts and it sold over 2.3K copies. Now, on March 29th, 2012, Speaker repackaged their debut album into an EP called Painkiller with the matching lead single. This is one of my favorite songs by them, y'all. I just love how dramatic and soulful the ladies were singing this song. It's definitely worth a full listen from start to finish if you have not heard it already. As much as I liked Russian Roulette, I really felt that Painkiller was way better. I really wish that this was their debut song. I don't know if that would have made much of a difference, but this song is just like so so good um but that's just my unpopular opinion apparently because the single peaked at number 60 on the charts and but the downloads though it had over 120.4k downloads so that's really really good so the ladies stayed busy throughout their debut year because on november 21st 2012 they gave us another comeback with another ep with the title track being lonely Down, down, down. 
this is the song that put them on my radar, you guys. I remember just like scrolling through YouTube and seeing these beautiful women in long skirts and a thumbnail. And I was just like, let me click on this video and see what's to them. You know, like I was always just interested to see a new group. And I was just mesmerized by each and every one of them. Like, how do they all sound and look and dance so good? I mean, they're like models. They're just like beautiful i was just so stunned i mean i instantly became a fan right then and there um and then the song is just phenomenal you know several songs on the album were also written by the members as well like since you're out of my life which is another favorite song of mine and i highly suggest you guys take it out um check it out like it's really really good um having the ladies compose their own songs it definitely paid off i feel like i said i feel like us fans we just love to hear what the artists are actually feeling they what their talents are it just sounds so much better when they get to have an input on their projects um and the reason why i say i feel like it paid off because the album did better than the previous ones this ep peaked at number eight on the charts and it sold over 2.1k copies so you know the fact that they made it to the top 10 is like really really good and very impressive so come mid 20. 13, we would see Spica on a television show presented by On Style called Lee Hyori X Hyuni, let X Uni, sorry, <laughs> would showcase Spica. They're basically being mentored by Lee Hyori, which is something that they've always been done. Like I said, they were literally, their nickname was like Hyori's little sister group like that was basically her group she had a big hand in like what was going on with them their projects a lot of the composers of their stuff and at the time uh Hyori was promoting for monochrome and uh, while she was doing that she was just also helping the ladies gear up for their next comeback which she and her husband uh helped to produce which is like that's amazing so she's doing monochrome doing this show and then she's also helping spiga get ready for their next comeback so she was like really 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 busy at this time of the year and so are the speaker ladies but they i mean it all paid off because on august 27th 2013 spiga came back with the single two nights <laughs> This is such an amazing song, you all. I really, really love this comeback. It just, it really makes you feel good when you listen to it. Seriously, it's like a great pick-me-up song. If you're ever in like a funk or like in just like a really weird mood, I promise if you just put this song on, even if it's not at nighttime, just looking at the video or just listening to the way that they're singing like it i don't know it always puts me in a good mood and it makes me feel good so i just hope that you guys listen to it if you haven't already um this song was written by boa and Hyo and hyori so um it's no wonder why it just sounds so amazing the single also did very very well on the charts it peaked at number nine and it's it had over 355.1k downloads like everybody loved this song so again i highly suggest you check it out if you haven't and you know just you re remember like if you're ever feeling down like this is a really good song to like pick you up so in january 2014 speaker came back strong with the single you don't love me
already know I'm going to tell you how much I love, 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 love this song. I mean, the vocals, visuals, everything was on point. These ladies can seriously sing their heads off. Like, I just, and I also love how old school this song is. Speaker really pulls that vibe off really, really well. They know how to do like the whole, you know, throwback 80s thing really good. And I just think it's, it has a lot to do with like the way they sing, like, their vocals they're really good at the soul genre and their voices just carry it over so well um this song is a continuation of their collaboration and love for lee hyuri um Bo and hyuri wrote this song together so and i'm really glad that they did i wish they just continue writing more songs and just i don't know become a group or something for that matter because they're just amazing at their craft and the single placed number 16 on the charts and it had over 381.9k downloads. So, yeah, everybody loved this one too. So, the next project Speaker released was in collaboration with Billboard to present us with their American debut. Yes, honey, Speaker came back with an English single on August 6th, 2014 called I Did It. I go up. I wasn't crazy about this song, but I was crazy about the video. Ooh, did you guys see how amazing their bodies looked? I mean, wow, they all looked so good, like super good. Um, I do appreciate the uplifting lyrics of the song, though. It's a pretty decent song, I'm not going to lie. I just felt like it was missing something. It was just a little flat for me coming from speaker like i know their potential and i just felt like it didn't shine through here but at the same time i had to weigh in the factor that it's an english song so that could that could have had something to do with it you know it's trying to sing in a different language it's like to it comes off totally different so they couldn't probably couldn't put that like extra umph in there like they wanted to or probably didn't have enough time to like you know do the most like they do but um yeah this song you know, it's a good song. It's just it just didn't do it for me. So on November fifth, twenty fourteen, Speaker gave us another comeback with the single Ghost. <laughs> this was a beautiful ballad that definitely grew on me over time it's it's not hard to n like not love their songs when they just sing to you so well like that like i'm pretty sure if you listen to any one of their songs enough you'll just be like man this sounds great or at least <laughs> that's just the speaker effect on me um so this song peaked at number 59 on the charts and it had over 33.3k downloads after a series of collaborations, contests, and events, it will be two years later since we'd receive our final Speaker comeback. On August 25th, 2016, Speaker released the single Secret Time. such a fun and flirty song it definitely grew on me over time as well and I, I say that because like I initially when I first heard it when it came out I was like eh, I don't know but then like I just kept listening to it and speak it speak it does what they do they just put that speak a spell on me and I was just like oh yep this is my song now now it's secret time um 
but yeah, it just it was it's a good song. I listen to it over and over now, and I finally definitely appreciate it. Um, plus, the ladies again, they look so darn good in this video. Like, how can I not fall for their charms? Oh, it's just amazing. So this single peaked at 117 on the charts, and it only had 15.3k downloads, or a little bit more than that. I'm so surprised because I thought it was a good song, and you know, I don't know, but maybe it was because they just they were away for so long. Maybe the public forgot about them, but yeah, that's what they did. On February 6th, though, 2017, Speaker's Agency released a statement in regards to the group's disbandment, and this is what it says. The Speaker members have come to an agreement to disband. We are currently discussing the future course for the members. So a source close to the situation ended up weighing in on the matter, and they stated the speaker members are currently discussing whether or not they will go to different companies or though it is unlikely they are also considering moving to another company as a whole group so finally re we received a written letter from speaker themselves addressing their disbandment to their fans and this is what it says after much consideration about the direction we wanted to go from now on, we decided to focus on our individual activities for now, and we were discussing with our current agency about canceling our contracts. As for the current situation, we can't tell you exactly when Speaker will be together as five again, but we wanted to tell you that this is absolutely not the end for us. So yeah, that's what the ladies had to say, and... You know, at least we heard from the agency and them and, you know, we see what was going on. During their time promoting, Speaker released two albums and 14 singles. And that's pretty much all that I have for this video, you guys. That is Spica. They were amazing. And I hope to see them reunite soon again. I know Boa and Bo Hyung, they came together to be like a little duo. And they've released some songs that I know that, you know... Everybody has, like, basically gone on to do their own thing. Um, Juwon, I know that she debuted in another group and got did some other stuff. So, yeah, everybody's, like, doing their own thing. So, hopefully they come back soon. I don't know if it's too soon for them to come back, but I would definitely love to see them reunite. Um, but, yeah, guys, let me know who your favorite member was, what song you liked the best, and if you even knew who they were to begin with. Um, but until the next video, I'll see you all around. Listen to them.